This is the video where we talk about the Ragnarok SD, which is the T-Rex Arms outside the waistband holster for suppressed firearms. It allows for a very smooth, clean, natural draw stroke. Um, and we've made a few tiny improvements to the design. That's why we're shooting this new video. If you already have a Ragnarok SD that you're using with your current setup and it works great, uh, the new model doesn't really give you anything. But what we have done is expanded uh, our support for maybe a few other options, which are, you know, you likely don't have, but uh, they're very cool things to add. And we've given some of these weirder options uh, a slightly smoother draw stroke and a better fit and just bumped up the overall quality of the product so that we can do a little bit more with it. And one of the things that we added better support for is the X300V. So the X300V, we actually grab it up here and the regular X300U we grab down here. It'll work with the A or the B model, but we prefer the B. When you're hanging on to the gun specifically by the light itself, this more secure attachment, um, kind of want that. So if you are using the X300V, these two screws right here are the ones that you are gonna wanna adjust to get your, uh, your retention. So feel free to uh, really clamp down with this screw right here and this screw uh, to grab the front of that bezel really tight if you want it to be super secure. If you're running the X300U, these are the two screws that you really wanna tweak to get your adjustment really dialed in. And then this screw back here is one that's gonna let you adjust uh, some of your trigger guard coverage and some of your trigger guard contact. Now, our recommendation is that you first adjust your retention for your gun with no can on it you get uh, things set up exactly the way that you want them uh, for exactly the feel that you have. And again, it's ideal that you do this uh, when you mount the holster so that you can actually feel what that draw stroke feels like mounted. It's very different when you're just holding it in your hand in the middle of the air. But once you get your adjustment tweaked just the way you want it for the level of security and the speed of the draw that you have, and then again, this right here gives you a little bit more control over where exactly this holster rides, where exactly this tr trigger guard contact happens. That's when it's time to uh, bend the ears right here. Now these little ears here, or possibly we call them wings, um, those are necessary to support different suppressor heights. So because there are a whole bunch of different setups, different weapons that we support, different uh, cans that we support that have different diameters and different shapes to them. We wanted to be able to support uh, as many things as possible. And that means that you will have to modify the holster slightly, but it's super easy. Basically, you take the gun with no suppressor on it, double check that your fit is exactly the way that you want it. And then with a heat gun or a hair dryer, you get ready to actually warm up the Kydex gloves maybe. Uh, if you're nervous about this you can also put a wet cloth right here on this adjustment point to make sure that this kydex gets hot, this kydex stays cool, but theoretically I'm a professional and I can freehand it. While that's warming up make sure that your can is attached for this part of the process. As the Kydex warms up, it's going to take on a consistency kind of like American cheese. That's when you know that it's pliable enough that you can do this process here. If all these ears are nice and soft, we're just going to go ahead, fully seat the weapon. Just make sure that the ears are wrapping nicely around that can. And as they cool, they're going to cool into the correct position to fully support the can, make sure that this holster is perfectly set up for your exact setup. And because Kydex uh, is a very easy to work with thermoplastic, you can always reheat these ears and reshape them if you switch to a different setup, either a gun uh, where the barrel is higher and the can is a little further away or a different diameter of can. And like I said before, we have increased the compatibility with this slightly newer model of the Ragnarok SD, mostly to support things um, like the Walther Q5, the VP9, things that had a little bit longer light rail and didn't run with the others. Now those things are supported and uh, 
a lot of little tweaks to give you a better draw and a better reholstering experience. If you have any questions about specific setups, those should be listed right here on the website, or you can contact our customer service team, team at trex-arms.com, and they'll be able to help you out with any of the more uh, esoteric builds that you might want to run with this thing.